Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to use the function generator which is a function uh, provided in the UT library in Cadesis. Using this function you can generate functions of different types of triangle, uh, positive triangle, status, rising, status, falling, rectangle, sine and cosine waveforms where you can determine the period or the frequency the and also the amplitude. I will briefly show you how to use this. To do so I have generated the project. Uh, I've selected CFC as the programming language. That's why you see here the CFC programming language elements. And I also have added a visualization to my project. Later I will show you how to uh, indeed uh, add items to this visualization. So to start uh, my program I will insert a box and for this box I want to determine the functionality as the function generator but as you remember it's part of UT library which by default is not provided for us and we need to add that uh, library into our project so we need to go to library manager and select add library and here in the application common you will find the UT library adding it to our project you can now see the gen gen function indeed here in which the inputs and outputs are uh, listed here with, with some comment and some uh, for some of them we have some initial value now that we have the library added into uh, our project I can determine the function type for this block and I just need to go to util signals and gen and here you can find the complete uh, description in it clicking on ok and pressing enter I need to declare an instance of this function gen underline zero I keep it as it and you see that that the type now is gen automatically de detected clicking on ok we have indeed the function placed here uh, alright so now what I need indeed to determine is to determine the mode for this function whether I want to have a status, triangle, sine, cosine and so on and so forth uh, we can also change the period or f number of cycles or frequency for this and with this space we determine which which of these two refer in it whether to the value which is provided for period or to the one which is provided for the cycles and here we have the amplitude and from the output we'll have access to the output of the function or the function indeed and here we, we can reset it so I will try to use as less as possible the, 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 the variables so I will refer directly to gen underline zero dot inputs and dot outputs S uh, as a result I, I go directly to visualization here I use one trace element to uh, display the output of the function to have it I go to configure trace uh, I add one variable and the variable here is within my PSC PRG gen underline zero and it's the opt. Alright, I keep the defiles like this. Uh, so for trace I have added the variable. I just need to determine which task it belongs to. I just select the main task. And here we go. It will be displayed on this graph. Uh, one more thing that we can do here is that in the trace configuration we can go to display settings. And here we can de 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 determine whether uh, which behavior in it to have for the x axis. It's by default uh, in auto mode but I will choose this fixed length for now and I will set 20 seconds let's say alright that's it 
uh, one more thing that I need to determine here is the, uh, the amplitude I will use an element to determine the amplitude of the uh, waveform uh, let me just find it I can use this uh, any of these indeed alright let's use this slider uh, the, the variables which I want to assign to it is the amplitude where is it if you can find it amplitude yeah, I see <laughs> and here I want to have the amplitude of between 0 and main scale 1 0.5 so this will determine the amplitude and one more thing that I need to determine is the type of the signal to determine the type of the signal I will use the radio button so here you can also learn how to use the radio button as well when you I insert it you have two options by default you can change the text here uh, let me just double check to see the order so we have triangle, triangle positive satus rise, satus false so I will change this to triangle the second one to triangle pause and you can see that it changes here as well I need more so I will click on this create new in the create new I have the third one as the text I will type status rise another one I need status fall uh, what else did we have? alright rectangle sine and cosine so I need to have three more rectangle sine and cosine I just need to yeah, change the area here so now I guess we are almost there I'm not going to change the frequency or or, or the period of the signal but you can obviously uh, do it directly from here from the visualization uh, let I'm in the already in the visualization mode okay in the simulation mode sorry so I just need to log in and check whether it works in the way that we want all right we are here uh, so by default the amplitude is set at zero I just change it to some value uh, let me just rearrange what I have here and here we, we can see the values of the variables so triangle is what is selected by default I can pick the triangle positive it should be selectable uh, okay I guess I haven't assigned the variable indeed here so let's do it now yeah I need to associate this radio button with the with the mode variable that we had otherwise it will not work properly just a minute and then we will see whether this will fix the problem alright again by default the amplitude is zero we have the triangle I just change the value of the amplitude to 3 and here you can see that we have the the triangle indeed waveform so we have positive values we have negative values here is zero and now if I change it to triangle positive let's see what happens here I guess we will have only positive parts of the triangle uh, 
and that's what we have in it yeah? we don't have negative values anymore we can change it back to change it to status rise so here we have the status uh, maybe I need to change a little bit the the period uh, it's just okay uh, insta 1000 I will change it to 10,000 Okay, number of calls per per period, and our base is false. Yeah? Or maybe I need to decrease it. Yep, I needed to decrease it in the hit. Sorry about that. So here you can see that we have Satos rising. Here we will have Satos falling. Here we have the rectangle. We will have the sine wave. Okay, so it it depends on the frequency and and here we will have the cosine wave form. So I don't go much into the details of how to use different inputs, how to determine the period, how to uh, change the, the value for the cycles here you see how to change the value of the amplitude but in general this is the way in which you can use this uh, init function from the utility library so I hope you have found this video useful for you in this video indeed you have learned how to add the utility library to the project you have learned how to use one of the functions from the utility project you have learned how to use this trace how to uh, change some properties of the trace you have also learned how to use this radio button uh, element that we have in the codices visualization okay so again i hope this would be helpful for some of you at least Thank you for watching and see you next time as usual.